welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Leo. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Leo, I am doing your reading today with the Queen of the Moon Oracle blended with the Good Tarot in one stack. So you will see a blend of both decks in your spread today. So Leo, you got the, um, the hunger card at the bottom of the deck today. Wolf Moon Hunger. I feel like this is almost an overall energy maybe for you. It feels to me, Leo, like something has really um, got you kind of riled up. Something that you clearly have a strong desire for. A strong desire for almost like this soul call out to the universe to be, for this hunger to be nourished, fulfilled, satiated, right? So that's just drawing me in at the bottom of the deck there. It kind of actually is maybe giving a little bit of clarity to the rest of the message. I didn't anticipate this jumping in at the last second. It's been happening more and more lately where the bottom of the deck is wanting to be part, be part of the reading. So we're beginning here with a very unusual High Priestess in Reverse. Really fascinating. She jumped out today in reverse and we just stared at each other for a long time. Kind of, I was going to say kind of having a conversation, but there was no conversation. There was no communication whatsoever from this high priestess. It is definitely an energy of guidance or intuition. So this is between you and your intuition at this point. It is now... My experience, my relationship with this card this morning as it popped out reversed and I spent time with her. This is you. This is a this is a translation of what you may be experiencing between you and your higher self or you and your intuition. It's like th there's a really close connection. It's very forefront in your awareness. This energy, this high priestess, it's like a guide and well, it's interesting. Like I said, it's like a, it's not a conversation. There's no communication. She's not speaking is what I'm getting. There's no message from her, but she's present. And it's almost this, I don't want to say standoff, looking at each other in anticipation, each waiting for the other to speak. So you're looking to your guidance, waiting for message which totally makes sense because the last, the, sorry, the last two, the next two cards are the two of earth and the two of air. So I'm seeing this as you are wanting to begin building something new, begin going in a new direction with the two of earth. The two of earth is talking about a really practical new start to something in your life, to some aspect of your life. But then the two of air being very much a two of swords energy today for me and being kind of indecisive, Indecisive, it's interesting because I'm actually looking at this as almost two options. Are there two options? She's got she's got birds on her fingertips. And I feel like this is you, Leo, kind of trying to choose between two options. Trying to choose between two options. So you're at a decision point. You're ready to make a new start and you're trying to decide almost like like being at a fork in the road, which, which path am I going to choose? Which direction am I, am I going to go in? I feel like there is clearly a better choice. There's one that you're more tuned into. And it's interesting because I'm suddenly seeing you looking at this bird on your fingertips is almost this. It's this, it's like, it's like this. You're looking at this, this high priestess on your fingertips waiting for some sort of communication or message. So that tells me that one of the paths seems to be kind of maybe being lit by your higher aspects. It, and that's probably the reason why you are locked into it more than the other. I do feel you going back and forth though, which way to go. Is it which way to go? Are there two options or is this just yes or no? Do I do this or do I don't do this? Either way, you'll know, Leo, whether you, you know what it is for you. So the next two cards, Page of Fire and Action, is 
coming through as what you are looking for in this decision process is an invitation to act. Because I see this page of fire often as almost like an arrival, an energy that is arriving and asking you to join it in an adventure. So it's an invitation. An invitation, maybe communication message from high priestess, from your intuition, kind of showing you what to do, right? So an invitation, maybe even just like from self, from your higher self, from your guides, or a specific, the specific path that you're considering it's like you're looking or waiting for some sort of an indication. That's what I mean. It's like this, it's kind of like a standoff energy or at a standstill. I'm feeling a lot, a lot of presence. There's a lot of energy and presence because I feel like you and this energy are really close. The energy is, is potent. It's really present whatever this symbolizes if this is it's basically symbolizing waiting for intuition intuitive confirmation or signs and synchronicities or waiting for a, another to show an indication that it's okay to go that way or that they're inviting you to go that way it's basically looking for confirmation from your higher self or from this opportunity or direction or person to give you kind of the go ahead to proceed. And it's interesting because it's like the, the energy is looking back at you and waiting for you to make a decision. It's waiting for you to make a decision. So it's like every, it's like ready, set. And now everybody's just looking at each other. That's how it feels to me. That's why I'm saying standoff, but it's more like nobody's making a move, right? And then this new begin, or sorry, the beginnings card. So it's just verifying that you are waiting for an invitation to move into this new direction, this new beginning. So you're very clearly making a choice about, and I'm noticing the moon, like, like I'm always saying this, this is a moon deck. So there are a lot of moons in this card. I mean, these cards, but then, you know, this is from the good tarot. So it's not a moon focused deck, but interesting how the, all these moons line up, right? So I don't know if that's, if that is significant to somebody about the moon alignment or the full moon, something like that, or a cycle, like you've been considering this for a moon cycle now, something like that. But it's reminding me actually of something that I wanted to point out here that I, I forgot about here, but the fact that there's all these twos, high priestess is two, there's two of earth, two of air, the beginnings card is a two, right? So, and then coming down to this next row, the, another card coming out is this 22. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six twos. So a lot of two, whatever, if, if two is significant to any of you, that number really wants to be emphasized in this reading. Like it's wanting to say, this is a two reading, a two, 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 whatever that means. That's for somebody because it doesn't really necessarily mean anything to me. So I don't even really know how to interpret it. It has something to do with full moon alignment and twos, two moon cycles. I maybe so at a decision point, waiting for direction from your higher self or invitation from another to move in this new direction, this new to begin this new beginning. It's like I said, it's this ready set. And then it's almost like you're waiting for something to say go, right? So that's where we are. And it's like all of the momentum is there. That's what the presence is. It's like this really potent energy where it feels like all the players are completely present and waiting in anticipation for one of the others to make a move. That's how it feels. So the tower card coming next is not a tower energy for me, actually. It's more about a blockage in perception. Is it coming through? It's kind of maybe coming through actually as a fear a fear that is blocking your clear perception. 
And then the wisdom card coming next, this 22. So this is talking about, you know, reaching for, really intentionally reaching for, I'm noticing this echo as well too, right? With the, it's like you're being pulled to, or you're, you're reaching in this direction. It's okay. This is what's coming through. It pretty much looks to me, Leo, like you've made a decision. If this is an option here, if this is, do I go this way or do I go this way or yes or no decision, it feels to me like you've already made the decision, but it's like you're waiting for approval or confirmation, affirm, affirmation, does that fit there? Um, or waiting for, you're not making a move, you're waiting for something to happen, even though you've already decided. Looking for validation, and this is maybe what this, this tower is talking about. There's a blockage in your perception. Leo, is it like, maybe you don't realize that you have made a decision. It's like you're still sitting in what you're feeling is in certain uncertainty about how to proceed or if you should proceed. But especially like with this hunger card, all of the energy being so potent and present and like uh, like a slingshot, like ready to go. It's just that go point that it's like, there's something to do with fear. Maybe you have a fear that you, your, your knowledge base or, you know, your foundation in deciding and choosing, do I have enough information to make this decision wisely? Something like that, but it's kind of tied back into fear somehow. So it's almost like, you know what you want, You've already decided, but there's a fear there that is making you think that you're unsure. That's how it's coming through. But the fear isn't about the choice or the direction. The fear is about like belief in self, confidence in self, in knowing what to do, being certain about your desires so therefore looking to high priestess to say, is, is this what we want? Is this what I want? That's almost the question. Not even should I, it's, is this what I want? Interesting. So, and then messenger of fire and ace of air, this is coming through to, today again, as like this energy with this page of fire up here, it's like you're, you're looking for message you're looking for a big clear sign like a pegasus bursting through the clouds and jumping towards you as confirmation it's like not only are you kind of looking for some sort of go ahead but it's like you want it to be unmistakable like this right you are Looking to high priestess, this is the standoff energy with high priestess. It's like you're looking at your higher self or your, your conversation with the universe. Like, give me a, a really big freaking sign so that I know for sure that I know what I'm doing in reaching for this, right? But it wants to tie back to the, that that's a fear. That's fear-based. And because it's like there's there's... It's, there's almost this energy of being trapped here. And the reason why I say that is because these two, these two cards for me are both tower energies. So they're kind of acting as bookends for this energy in the middle here, which is reaching, but unsure. It's almost like, is, is this okay? Am I allowed to do this? Or am I appropriate in this? That kind of hesitation. So, and it, and it feels to me like you can't seem to get out of that box for some reason. You're boxed into that energy, right? Because it, well, it's, it's like these, it's like these blinders because this is a blockage and blockage in perception. So it's like, which is interesting because we're starting here with the high priestess, which is in reverse upright is clear, clear vision clear intuition, clear knowing. And it's almost like you, you're, you're blocking it intentionally. It's like this, there's this interesting message coming through about like that. There's all of this, there is all of this information and maybe even confirmation and signs and synchronicities, 
like with all this moon alignment and all these two, 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 twos, but it's like you are, there's something about a fear that there's a fear at play here that's actually blocking out a lot of it. And that's part of the reason why High Priestess is coming in really, she's really in your face. She's really in your face. She's not saying anything, but it's like, okay, Leo, if you're gonna, if you're gonna block out all of this input and you're gonna narrow your focus out of fear, I wanna say, then it's like, she's like, okay, well then we'll, we'll just be right here then. That's why the energy is like, it's so, it's almost like it's compressed. It feel the presence of it is really palliable, palatable. What's that word? I can feel it. I can feel it. It's, it's not unpleasant. It feels almost exciting because there's, it's like, there's so much potential energy built up and it's really contained and focused and you and your higher self are like right here having this presence together and you're both waiting and you're both looking at each other. So basically she's saying to you, the message that she would say if she's saying anything is Leo, you know what you want, right? The nine of water is coming out next. You know what you want and the chariot. So do it. That's her message. Choose. You've already chosen, actually. You've already chosen. And the split in your vibration is just this hesitancy about, but am I right in that? It's like needing confirmation. That's the whole the whole reason why nothing is moving is because you're waiting for validation from, I mean, and because you're, you're saying, but this is, this is me kind of doing a gut check. This is me asking my intuition. This is me trying to follow my intuition, but the message is kind of like, it's beyond that. You only need to really check in with intuition, Leo, when you don't, when you're not sure what you want, but it's like, but you're starting here really certain about what you want and another another moon really certain about what you want but then asking permission interesting interesting so here you are this is your message from the high priestess she's not speaking it she's just telepathically blasting you saying leo when are you going to realize that this is your decision we're all at ready, set, and you have to be the one that says go. You have to be the one. So the entire energy is waiting on your approval, your decision. You've already decided. So there's no reason to wait. There's no reason to pause. And the focus card here ending is kind of like the answer to this high priestess in reverse at the beginning. It's pretty much the high priestess putting it back on you. Everything that I was just saying, saying, because this is, this is almost like another high priestess card for me. It's somebody with very clear knowing, clear perception, right? Incredibly focused. This is the thing. This is, and this is that container. It's like, you're so... Leo, the energy is so right there and ready to be expressed. And it's like, you know it, you're so in it, right? This is resonating with you. You're saying, yes, I know what you're talking about. I know it, I want it. And I'm just unsure. I'm just unsure, but it's like, but it's all right here. And you are, it's like, you are the high priestess energy. You are the high priestess. So this is kind of like, you in reverse. So at, by the end of this reading here, it's trying to correct your energy, bring it back upright and saying, you know, Leo, don't hesitate. Give yourself the green light and proceed. Because if you're giving yourself any sort of illusion that there are options or two paths, it's like when you get really honest with yourself, you're going to realize that there, there isn't. There's one definite desire over any other factors that are at play here. And the rest of it, if there's any complication in this energy for you, that is really just you doing this because you're lacking confidence in your ability to decide for some reason based on some sort of a fear. 
fear that you're going to get it wrong or fear that you are, you shouldn't be making a decision in this situation, something like that. You'll know what it is. There's a fear there that is complicating everything. So this just wants to come out here at the end. These blinders, this is also kind of bringing up that there's a lot of other complication maybe at play here. And so that's another reason why you are blocking out, trying to, you're trying to stay focused. You're trying to stay focused, but you're actually blocking out a lot of information that could be helpful to you right now. And in fact, what you could be blocking out, Leo, is the stuff that is the, the complications. If you allow yourself to perceive them clearly, you will know that they're actually helping to point you with more certainty in this direction. See what I'm saying? So it's all beneficial. It's like you don't have to not see specific things. If there's something uncomfortable or complicated in your life, it's trying to help you see what isn't complicated. Right? It's helping you try to simplify, actually. So, you know, I think I'm, I hope that makes sense for somebody. It's a, it feels kind of, I don't know, vague to me, but... Hopefully that's meaningful for someone. I'm going to leave it there. I will continue to pull cards, create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. If not, I'll see you next time, Leo. Thanks. Bye.